Greetings everyone, I'm Andy Epix here, and welcome to Project Station, or whatever. We're just calling it Project Station for now. We have a mission of the Falcon Heavy. 27 engines up and burning. Two, one. Lift off of the Falcon Heavy. Strongback dropping away. Down to the fully retracted position. And the Falcon Heavy is on its way towards orbit. So this is sort of like uh, the previous project, Project Real, which was discontinued because I ran out of stuff to do. Once this uh, smoke clears up, we should get a lot less laggy. But even so, right now we're running at f uh, like 25 frames per second. Falcon Heavy is performing as expected. Flying out. of the KSC. <laughs> Just testing out the action groups. for the 27 Merlin engines that uh, Falcon Heavy has on its uh, stages. It's two sta well, 28, if you count the uh, Mervac. This vehicle pushes the boundaries of nominal and uh, space flight. This will be the most powerful launcher to leave the coast of Florida since, well, the Saturn V. And just in saying that, it sounds incredible. Merlins have faded. The two strap-on Falcon Heavy cores have separated. And the Falcon Knot and the... Uh, core stage has reignited <sighs> and we're back up to full thrust Aiming for a 150 kilometer orbit. The two core stages just about at their apoapsis. Separation. 
ignition on the Mervac. And fairing has separated. Revealing this module to the fir for the first time to the vacuum of space. And we have uh, Mervac cut off. Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy are going to be playing uh, key roles is as launchers along with Atlas 5. As and other launchers in this series. The core stage is reaching its is reaching its uh, altitude for atmospheric is approaching the atmosphere <laughs> while the core module goes into a circular orbit. Now the orbital injection as the core uh, stage prepares for atmospheric entry. Now what I'm going to do is see if I can land this stage. Back on the surface of Kerbin. Using RCS and grid fins. Now we're going to start the flip on the first stage. for the re-entry burn. This burn is designed, this will be the first of two entry burns. Now, I do not believe the grid fins are attached to the decoupler. And now the uh, first stage 
is coming in for the entry phase. So we're going to start with a single engine entry burn. Firing up the engine in order to uh, reduce vehicle uh, velocity. Pulling in the grid fins. Disabling the grid fins control. as the shock heating begins to dissipate. The vehicle is coming in quite fast. Please stand by.
And we're back with Falcon Heavy's uh, first stage entry. And deceleration burn. Grid fins have deployed. Altitude four kilometers. Outer engines toggled off. Altitude three kilometers. Beginning slight engine firing. Engine firing a uh, small burst. As we pass through the cloud layer. Time to impact, 14 seconds. Time to impact, 10 seconds. Beginning deceleration firing. Still descending. Engine cutting off. And engine moving on to slow, uh, lower power mode. Aiming for the booster to be directly vertical with the surface. Gear coming. Full thrust on the engine. Coming in at uh, 30 meters a second at 200 meters. Adjusting onto vertical. Altitude 141 meters. Full thrust. Getting landing effects. Throttling back the engine. Engine being throttled back. And coming up to full. Engine on full thrust. Touchdown. We've lost the main tank. And we have negative splashdown on the Falcon 9. F9 touchdown too fast. And here we are in the tracking station, able to see the entirety of Kerbin. 
And there's the space station flying behind Kerbin, so we're now going to uh, jump in and separate that. orientation and separation of the module our first station module is separated beginning solar arrays deploy solar panel deploy is in work Solar Array Deploy in Work is confirmed. And the first stage is aiming for the Retro Vector. That's going in the opposite direction of where we want to go. The smart attitude control system is coming up and is bringing us onto our uh, retro vector. As we slowly drift away from our uh, station. Approaching Retro Vector. And starting Retro Fire. Beginning the Deorbit Burn. Coming in on a ballistic trajectory. And attitudes and whatever, th and the attitude control system is off. As we have moved three, we've moved farther than about 10 kilometers from the station. Vehicle coming in and entering the atmosphere.
vehicle destruction is beginning. The vehicle has been destroyed. And I thank you for um, watching this first episode where we're starting to put together our space station in low uh, carbon orbit. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'm Andy Epics, signing off.